Hey, AHA members and homebrewers. This is John Moorhead with your American Homebrewers Association and the competition manager and director of the National Homebrew Competition. It's safe to say that this was one of the most tumultuous years in the competition I've ever been a part of. Um, I want to personally thank each and every person involved for the support, the understanding, the patience, the flexibility. There were a lot of emotions involved this year and everything kind of hit us blindsided and it was not an easy four months and I think there's still work to be done on moving forward for next year. However, this group from Doe's Homebrew Club in the Bay Area proved to be the exception this year. They freaking judged safely and social distancely nearly 700 entries despite the cancellation of the competition. That's unreal. This is the quintessential example of the homebrewing spirit and really embodies the passion that we all carry in this hobby. Um, I've been saying it from the beginning that I'm so impressed and inspired by the responses of this group and groups like this group and to honor all the entrance hard work and, you know, huge thank you to the judges as well, extending the judging over months instead of a weekend. It's a lot of work, a lot of logistical work, a lot of new things were tried. And so here's to all of you. So congratulations to all the winners in this judge center. I know it's not the way we envisioned it, but still nice to be able to capture some sort of normalcy here. And here's to seeing you all in at HomebrewCon 2021 in San Diego. Cheers. Good evening, guys. My name is Pavel Anisimov. I'm a former Doe's uh, vice president and NHC competition director for San Francisco region. And NHC San Francisco round is officially complete. I know you all are very eager to find out who actually won. Since no other rounds were complete and officially NHC was canceled, we claim that San Francisco round is an official finals for the NHC 2020. All of this would never happen without our fantastic crew, Robbie, Hirendu, Gordon, Nesta, and many others. It would never happen without our friends and partners from the Ghost Town Brewery, who hosted us for the second year in a row. Also, I want to thank our sister clubs, Medzies, Barry Mashers, and personally David Tuckham and Howard Clarefield for making this happen. Furthermore, I want to thank you all for submitting your entries to our region and being a part of this historical phenomenon. This is a great hobby, and it would never exist without you doing your part. Based on that, we felt that despite the difficult situation in our country and the world, it's our duty to finish the task by any means necessary. Some of you spent tremendous time and effort perfecting your recipes, nursing your creations and jumping through all the hoops by packaging, delivering, and even shipping entries across the country. We are talking about big beers, sours, meads, ciders, and many others where the time is a part of the recipe. It would be unfair if we would ignore it. It felt like you deserve the competition while the winners deserve the ceremony and the recognition. Isn't there a certain time and we all need the good news and something positive more than ever. Keep brewing beer. Keep making meat and cider. Support your local craft breweries. Stay safe and take care of your family. And now, I want to present Robbie Proctor, the president of the Club Doe's. San Francisco NHC judging coordinator and a huge Tottenham Hotspurs fan. Thanks, Pavel. Evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to our very unofficial NHC first round San Francisco region award ceremony. Uh, really excited to have all of you with us tonight. Uh, it's been a long journey from uh, that evening, Friday, March 13th, at Ghost Town, when we realized that uh, the judging was going to be canceled to where we are tonight, being able to let everyone know where they placed in each of our 35 tables. Uh, everyone, all of you will be receiving uh, your score sheets with feedback, which I think at least I found as a home brewer to be invaluable over the years to improve 
uh, my recipes and my beers. And I hope that you guys will get the same out of that. Uh, please tune in for the whole ceremony. There are a couple of surprise awards to be announced at the very end of this. Uh, we were very lucky, the community at large really rallied together um, to help put this on, uh, to show everybody a good time, and uh, to also uh, reward some of our winners this evening uh, with some pretty awesome prizes, if I don't mind saying so myself. So it's well worth staying to the very end. Trust me, that's all I'm going to say about that. One prize I can tell you about right now is our good friends at More Beer, one of our main sponsors of this event, along with Ghost Town Brewing, who hosted us. Um, but More Beer has also very kindly offered uh, to provide gift certificates for first, second, and third place winners. So everyone tonight, if you get a third place, you get a $10 gift certificate to morebeer.com. Uh, if you get second place, you'll get 20 bucks, and first place winners will get $30. Uh, so thank you ever so much, everyone at More Beer, for continuing to support home brewing uh, and does uh, with every crazy thing that we try and pull off. We couldn't do it without you guys, so thank you very much. Uh, so without further ado, I'd like to just pass it over to Dave Wonder for a quick message from More Beer. Uh, and then we'll get to hear from Justin and Ryan at Ghost Town, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, bye. My name is David Wonder, and I'm the sales director at More Beer. As someone who's moved on to the second round and coached many home and pro brewers, I know the value of competition and getting feedback on your beers. So I'm just really excited to see this happening right now. Um, this is what it's all about. Uh, congrats to all the winners from everyone here at More Beer. Um, enjoy, cheers. Hey everybody. Welcome to the very unofficial first round of the SF NHC award ceremony. I'm Justin Burt, head brewer over at Ghost Town Brewing in Oakland, California. And I'm Ryan Nosek, owner of Ghost Town Brewing in Oakland. For the past couple of years, we've had the pleasure of hosting the first round of the NHC here at the brewery. Um, it was always really cool to see how much time and effort that these guys put in uh, ship, you know, receiving, sorting, judging. Oh yeah, and then, you know, one of the best parts from doing this last year when we got to hang out and drink a bunch of the homebrews afterwards. You get like 50 out there on the table after judging. Some good stuff, man. Really oh, yeah. good stuff. Well, this year was actually really special. COVID-19 struck the exact moment that judging was to begin. The competition was canceled. I could see how disappointed everyone was. All that hard work. And most importantly, all those beers that you guys sent in. Yeah, but these judges, they got right on it. You know, right when things were starting to happen, they still set up their tables. They started judging. They got your IPAs, your double IPAs, all your hoppy beers going first round. You know, a lot of props to these guys to make sure those beers that really needed the freshness got tested or judged. We were really proud of them for making sure that all that hard work that you guys put in wasn't wasted. And I think it's really awesome that even though everything seems different, there are a few things that bring us joy that can remain the same. On with the show. Woo! Oh, hi there. I'm Matt Sager. When I'm not brewing beer at Danville Brewing Company, you'll find me right here behind my tiki bar. I have the honor of announcing the Smoked Beer category winners. Taking third place, Jason Davis of the Bay Area Mashers for his Polish Champagne, which is a Pivo Gradziski. And in second place, Paul Brown of Doe's for Your Life Burns Faster, which is a classic style smoked beer. Delicious. Last but not least, taking first place goes to Jeffrey Allen for his Zimstra Martula, which is also a Pivo Gretziski. I'd like to extend a mahalo to all who entered and a congratulations to all who won. Until next time, Kungaloosh. Hey, it's Annie. Here, I'm gonna take my mask off for y'all. I'm in Mitchell, South Dakota home of the great corn palace. So this is a perfect category. That's corny. 
This is corny. For this category of pale American lager, third place, Jeremiah NG. N-J-O-R-O-G-E for his Rafiki American Lager. Congratulations. Second place, Doug Brown. Quaff for his Cold Crash Cream Ale. Corny. I bet it's corny. First place, corn roll please, Brendan Holiday for from the Brewing Asshats, Asshat of Utah for his Pool Party Pale Blonde Ale. Congratulations, guys. Hey everyone, this is John Galuli, the socially distanced brewmaster from Drake's Brewing Company, and I'm here to announce the winners of the British and Irish style stout category for the Doe's Homebrew Competition 2020 COVID edition. So, you know, I'm talking to a little phone here in my living room and, you know, it's going to be all virtual and stuff, but this beer in my hand is real, so I'm going to be drinking some Imperial Porter. I didn't have any stout around the house, sorry guys, but I'm wearing a stout shirt, so... Uh, without further ado, let's get on to it, man. Third place to Daniel Keane from the Brew Club for his Oatmeal Stout Frolic Cove. Second place goes to Justin Clayton for his Shanks Pony Irish Stout. And first place goes to Edward DeMaio for his Don't Panic Tropical Stout. Tropical Stout is a pretty fabulous style of beer that nobody really is making, so really stoked to see one out there. Congratulations to all of you. I'm here to announce the winners of the traditional mead category. In third place, Josh Holbrook from the Blue Ox Brewer Society. In second place, we have Austin Mortimer, co-brewed with David Nagel. And in first place, we have Barry Tingliff from the Arizona Society of Home Brewers. Congratulations. Hi everybody, it's Allison Bach from Rotator Tap Room here in Walnut Creek and uh, I was hoping to post this video from the tap room but we've just been told that um, we can't have the bar open so we're here on my couch. Uh, Robbie asked me if I would like to uh, announce the winners for the Pale European Beer category and apparently that was their largest category so big congratulations to all the winners. In third place, we have Tor Roberts with the Bruno Kolsch, which is awesome. I love Kolsch. I'm actually drinking one from Moxa right now. And um, in second place, we also have Tor Roberts with his Go to Hellas Munich Hellas. And then, drum roll, <laughs> in first place, we have Christopher Burgess from the Brewing Network with his International Pale Lager Under Pressure. So big congratulations to all the winners. We'll get through all this pandemic stuff together, guys. At least we have cold beer. Cheers! I'm Jess from Five Sons Brewing in downtown Martinez. Today I'm joined by Dennis and Sean. We are three of the five owners of Five Sons, and today we'll be reading the winners of the National Homebrew Competition for the Amber and Brown American Ale category. So, in third place, we have Todd Higginson of Quaff with his Dog Pound American Brown Ale. In second place, we have Scott Hackney with the Hackney Brown, a American Brown Ale. And in first place, we have Michael Linares with his Long Rifle Kentucky Common. Congratulations! Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, thank you to everyone who participated, but most importantly to the winners. Uh, cheers to everyone, and please have a happy and safe summer. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. Hi, I'm Erin. I'm one of the owners of Epidemic Ales. We are a 10-barrel brewery and taproom in Concord, California. And I am here to announce the winners of the National Homebrew Competition. So this is the Bach category. So the winners are, third place goes to Todd Higginson of Quaff for his Chubby Goat Dunkelbach. Second place goes to Mike Riddle and Alex Riddle for their Here's Looking at You Kid Dunkelbach. 
And first place goes to Stuart Seigel, the Arizona Society of Home Brewers, for his behemoth ice box. So congratulations, everybody. Cheers, and hope to see you in the tap room soon. Hey, hey, beer fans. I'm Denny Kahn. And I'm Drew Beecham. And together, we're here to present the awards for Strong British Ale. That's right. And third place. Ta-da! God, I should do like a, a ukulele fanfare, but I'll spare you all. Third place goes to Carl Downing of K- of Kotati Homebrewers Collective for his curly mullet, Old Ale. And second place goes to Jim Riff with his Essex English Strong Ale. And of course, the thing that you all want to know, first place. And first place goes to Kenneth Berry of Humboldt Homebrewers. And Denny, I think this is a beer name for you. Yes, it's called The Older I Get, Old Ale. Why didn't I think of this? <laughs> so congratulations, everybody, and good on you for, like, pulling this off and running the competition. It's great that you were able to do that, given the circumstances these days. <laughs> Indeed. Thanks. Have a great day. Hey guys, this is Lester from Bear Bottle Brewing Company uh, coming at you. Uh, happy to announce the awards, rewards for the Czech Premium Pale Lager or Czech Lager Premium Pale. Uh, anyways, I first want to begin by saying really congratulations to the winners, but also to Robbie and the Doze crew for doing this competition, carrying it out, and actually getting it judged. I got to say, uh, when Robbie reached out to me and said, can we film a little segment uh, about the winners? Uh, it really inspired me. I mean, I think this is the kind of beauty and it's the ethos of home brewing is in the middle of a pandemic, the 600 plus entries in the NorCal region, thanks to Robbie and Doe's, actually got judged, actually got score sheets, actually got feedback. like. As a former home brewer, uh, that is kind of, it kind of breaks your heart to see that. And uh, maybe not breaks, it touches your heart to see that. Uh, So happy to announce these, but also like mad props to you guys for actually carrying out the uh, the competition. So I've got the third place, second place, and first place uh, winners right here. And I'm going to begin by... Announcing the third place winners. Uh, this is the this is Scott Satherwhite from Warts of Wisdom, uh, Pivo Roro in the Czech Premium Lager. Congratulations. And in second place, we have got Jeff Rorison and Josh Bass, number nine Czech Pale Lager. I don't know if that's different than the Czech Premium Pale, but congratulations on a great second place. And in first place, and you get no drum roll because it's Friday and I need to go home. Uh, but in first place, we have Josh Bass and Jeff Rorison again. Uh, though this time Josh is listed first, so I guess Josh, you did a better job than Jeff on your version. And this is Adidas for Life. Uh, Check premium pale. So, Jeff and Josh, nice job. Congratulations, guys. Have a good one. Hey, everybody. Jeff Carlson here, five-time home cider maker of the year through the AHA. I'm here to announce some uh, winners in the San Francisco region that they went ahead and judged safely, I might add, during the COVID Epidemic, and we're going to announce the winners of Table 34, and that's the standard cider and pear category. And the guys at Doe's asked me to do this. So, without further ado, third place, Lucas Ohio Patty from the Doe's Club, and he came in third with an English cider. Second place, Lucas Ohio Patty with a new World Perry. And for the trifecta, 
Oh, nope. Sorry, Lucas. Amory Johnson from the, from the North Seattle Homebrewers with a front cider took first. Congratulations to the winners. Cheers. Again, thanks to uh, the Doe's group for hosting the competition, and uh, see y'all. Hi there, we're Alex and Gregory from Armistice Brewing Company in Richmond, California. We're still open. <laughs> and we're here to announce the specialty category. In third place, we have Roberto Saldivar and Sean Hammer! <laughs> from the Mad Zymerdress. Uh, they brewed a beer called Warhead, which is uh, in the experimental beer category. In second place, we have Mike Thick of 395 Homebrewers. He brewed Double Minor Golden Stout, also an experimental beer. And finally, in first place, taking the gold, we have, I think it's gold. Do they have that medal? It's gold. It's gold. It's a gold medal. We have Andrew Simsack of the San Francisco Homebrewers Guild, who brewed a beer called King Adam, uh, which is a part of the historical beer category. So clap it up. Nice job, everyone. Congratulations. Keep brewing beer. Most importantly, keep drinking beer. Keep Make it sure fun. it's armistice. <laughs>What's up, Doze? Good evening. Um, Lucas Oahu here. I miss all y'all, uh, but I'm happy to play a few songs for you this evening. This first one is called Pilsner Gal. Summer flies buzzing round this town. I held you, girl, when love was no fun. Let's get to the river town, hold down the sun, throw them back for me. Well, I knew you were a pilsner gal. From the moment I laid eyes on you Me, you were a pilsner gal From the moment I laid eyes on you From the moment I laid eyes on you I might carve you a redwood heart Get my head straight with wide open arms, get an early start. For my luck runs out. 
Let the dogs out before I get home I know, dear, you want to be alone But we're getting old I knew you were a pills and gal From the moment I laid eyes on you Pilsner gal From the moment I laid eyes on you From the moment I laid eyes on you Drinking moonshine wine Having a hell of a time I got the postcard blues Just dreaming of you Drinking moonshine wine Time. I got the postcard blues just dreaming of you. If you light a fire in the black of night I come running to your heart's delight If your eyes just shine well, I knew you were a pilsner gal From the moment I laid eyes on you Pilsner and gal From the moment I laid eyes on you From the moment I laid eyes on you Hey everybody, it's Steve Studebaker with Bay Area Mashers. I just wanted to give a shout out to everyone who's been involved in the judging for uh, NHC this year. Uh, I was involved in the first round preliminary judging. It's kind of interesting. We gathered at our chapter president's house in early March and we um, were aware of a novel coronavirus. So we kind of stayed a little bit away from each other and didn't share any glasses, but uh, Little did we know that was the last time that we would ever get together as a group uh, for probably for 2020. Anyway, here's Adam Bradley, our vice president, uh, with a message. This is Adam Bradley from the Bay Area Mashers, local BJCP judged. I judged one of the early rounds uh, for the SF Regional NHC judging. Had a great time. Uh, bummed that we couldn't do the rest of it, but, you know, hope everyone's healthy and we can get back to this next year. Thanks a lot and talk to you later. Once again, we want to commend you for all your hard work in uh, administering this competition, and we hope that uh, very soon we'll all be able to get together and raise a glass. Hey, what's up, Dude members? This is Luis Castro from Del Cielo Bruin. I was asked by Ravi, our amazing president, to announce the, the, the three winners of the international amber lager uh, i guess just because i'm i'm announcing that i gotta be drinking our uh, morena mia which is our amber mexican lager super nice drinkable so for the third place we got mike duran congratulations that's a cali Vien with a vienna lager on second place we have George Randalls uh, with a Air Ray Amber and that's an international Amber Lager. And then on first place, we have Doug Brown from Quav and it's a Viennese Stees, it's a Vienna Lager. Again, congratulations to, to everybody that entered this competition. And again, to the top three. Cheers, enjoy.
Next up, table 31, fruit meads. It's a category I have a little bit of experience with. In third place, from the Diablo Order of Zymerical Enthusiasts, Christoph Plizja with wild plum, a stone fruit mead. Good job, Christoph. In second place, from the Chico Homebrew Club, with pretty in purple, Joni Abbott with a mellow mel. And first place, also from the Chico Homebrew Club, with Luscious Lily, John Abbott, also with the Mellow Mel. Congratulations, you three. Hang on to these bottles and enter them again next year, and hopefully everything's back to normal. Hi, I'm Nick Corona, owner of Five Suits Brewing in Vista, California, and I'm here to announce the winners of the German Wheat beer category for NHC. Come on inside. Let's go in the vault. The winners of NHC German wheat beer category are as follows. Third place. I hate it when they do. There's no third place. Second place. Bradford Berger. Mojave Desert Brewers Guild. Lifting V Vice Beer. First place. John Orcutt. The Bruins. El Jefe Vice Beer. Brad. John, well done. We'll see you guys next year. San Diego. Hey everybody, Gordon Strong from Lockdown. Boy, do I miss the NHC. I'm happy to uh, help you out by uh, reporting some winners today. Got the category winners for Table 21, Belgian Ales. In third place, Chris Meck from Las Vegas, representing the Snafu Club with a wit beer, White Wolf, El Lobo Bronco. In second place, we have Jason Barker from Beaverton, Oregon, from the Oregon Brew Crew, with a Belgian Blonde Ale called Belgian Blondette. And in first place, the winner is Christina Ortiz from the Eastside Brewers in Los Angeles, California with a Trappist single, Splendid Coup. As you can tell, I'm a real fan of Belgian beers and uh, a real fan of the NHC. I'm happy you guys were able to get together and judge. Hope you did it safely. Uh, you all stay safe out there and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Well, hello everybody. My name is Charlie Bamforth, um, sometimes known as the Pope of Foam, but uh, been around in the brewing industry from uh, rather longer than many of you have been on this planet. So uh, I'm very delighted that I was asked by the Diablo Order of Zymerical Enthusiasts, which you know as does, uh, to uh, give you the uh, victors in the category of Brown British Beers. So without further ado, let me do exactly that. And uh, starting with third place, drum roll, drum roll, with the Dark Mild, which uh, is actually the very first uh, style of beer that I uh, drank when I first went to university in 1970. And third place goes uh, to Bob Jacobson and Joshua Quimby from Doze with their Winter Mild. Now, in second place, this time with an English porter, a very historical type of brew, that is. And uh, this one, uh, the victor from the Bay Area Mashers is Mr. Sean Clinton with Black Balloon Porter. And again with a dark mild. And in first place, with a beer 
uh, entitled or with the uh, the moniker, put it mildly, Mr. Mark Dyson and Mr. Jim Mooney. So my personal congratulations to each and every one of you. Uh, love to try them sometime. And uh, hopefully I will uh, get to see you all in the not too distant future. So well done and keep brewing. Amy here from Wool Beer Cafe in Wanna Creek. Um, I'm here to announce this year's winners for my favorite style, Saison's. So without further ado, let's just get right to it. Um, so in third place, we have, and sorry if I pronounced anyone's name wrong, uh, we have John Charvet with Thule Bug Saison. Congratulations. Um, in second place, we have Doe's member Kevin Shaw with Saison to Phil Bloom. And in first place, let's get a drum roll. We have from San Francisco Homebrewers Guild with Little Grief Wagon, Andrew Simsack. Woo! All right, so congratulations to all our winners this year and a big cheers to everybody who participated. Happy brewing! Hello Doe's Home Brew Club. I'm Chris White speaking to you from White Labs in San Diego, California. Kind of nearby. And I'd like to announce the winners uh, for your unofficial award ceremony for the Belgian, the strong Belgian ale category. Third place winner goes to Brad Kane from the San Francisco Homebrewers Guild for Scary Monster Belgian Dark Strong. Second place in the Strong Belgian Ale category goes to Josh Bass and Jeff Rorison for Baby Elf Belgian Double. And the first place winner in the Strong Belgian Ale category, the best beer at the table was jo in that category. Josh Bass and Jeff Rorson for Belgian Triple. Congratulations and cheers. Howdy, this is Andy Barr from 5050 Brewing Company up here in Truckee, California. 2018 GABF Brewing Group of the Year. Uh, I'm pleased to announce the results from Table 15 Imperial Porters and Stouts for the San Francisco area first round national homebrewers competition. And here they are. In third place from Lodi, California, John Brunette, sixes and seven dwarfs imperial stout. In second place from Redwood City, California, Robert Fleming, Baltic Porter. And in first place from Salinas, California, Tor Roberts with Call Me Morning Baltic Porter. Well done, guys. Congratulations to everybody and enjoy. Good evening. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Craig Danielson, a home brewer out of Castro Valley, California, uh, also a member of the Doe's Homebrew Club, and currently I'm the uh, lead brewer out here at Shadow Puppet Brewing in Livermore, California. It's my great privilege this evening to be able to uh, announce the winners in the Wood Age category. In third place, we have a Bourbon Barrel Imperial Stout, an Imperial Stout aged in a bourbon barrel, brewed by Mike Riddle and Alex Riddle. In second place, we have uh, Time is on My Side. It's a uh, British Strong Hill aged in oak, uh, brewed by Howard Clearfield, Anil Dosage, and Eric Rusica, all members of the Grain Trust Homebrew Club. And uh, first place is Rye Stout. It's a sweet stout aged in a rye barrel, brewed by uh, Nick Wilson, a member of the Quaff Homebrew Club. Uh, I'd like to congratulate you all on beers well brewed and well aged. Cheers. Hey Bay Area and the rest of NorCal. I'm Billy Belts, co-owner of Lost Cause Meadery, uh, down here in San Diego, and Quaff member. 
uh, stoked to be announcing the winners for the spiced mead category uh, for the SF Judging Brand HC. So here we go. Third place, Krzysztof Pliska with those for his uh, tart cherry chipotle uh, in the fruit and spice meat category. Second place, John Abbott with the Chico Homebrew Club for his Apple Hill Avalanche uh, fruit and spice mellow bone. And first place, Krzysztof Pliska with his Rosehip Trojniak in the spice herb and vegetable meat category. Uh, congrats to everyone, everyone that entered. Congrats to the three winners. Um, if any of you are ever down in San Diego, we'd love to have you here at Los Cosmetery. And uh, for anyone up there that can't make it down but wants some delicious mead, Pav is making a trip down here in a couple weeks, and I'm sure that he would be more than happy to haul some mead bottles back up to Northern California. Thanks, Pav. All right, cheers, everyone. Hey, my brewing brothers and sisters, I'm Jamel Zana, chef, host of Brew Strong on the Brewing Network and owner of Heretic Brewing Company in Fairfield, California. I've always loved participating in brewing competitions and the AHA Nationals was always one of the best. Cheers to the awesome folks of Doze for finding a way to make their chunk of the competition still happen. Now it is my great pleasure to announce the winners of the American Strong Ale category. In third place, Jason Barker of Oregon Brew Crew with his arrogant plastered American Strong Ale. In second place, Oscar Smith of Tea Chops with Phil and Bob's Wheat Wine. And the gold medal winner is Craig Nolan and Ken Hendricks with Triple Play Double IPA. Congratulations, everyone. Cheers. Hey, all you NHC uh, San Francisco region entrants, um, cheers, I'm Brian Cooper. I am uh, the current uh, regional rep for the, the BGCP West region and uh, also uh, Dr. Homebrew on the Brewing Network. But uh, aside from that, I wanna uh, thank my friends in Doze who did an awesome job with this region and getting the judging done. Uh, Pavel and Herendu and Robbie and all those guys, I can't even name them all, but um, you know, this thing, whole, this whole thing started out. We were um, sitting in Pleasanton at my buddy's uh, uh, tasting room called Bottle Taps, and we sat down in his little side room to judge some entries. And this was mid March, and all of a sudden, we get the news: the competition is canceled. We're like, what are we gonna do? We're looking at each other. Well, I guess let's just judge the entries because that's what we do. We're judges, you know. And let's get some feedback to these entrants at least, and and just do it while we're here and, 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 and do them some justice, even if it's gonna be canceled and for nothing. But uh, hopefully it wasn't for nothing. And uh, the, today's little ceremony will, will you know, give some people some pride and, and, and others some feedback to improve their brews and bring them back next year, which is hopefully just gonna be a normal competition. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, um, it's been a crazy time and, and uh, you know, I learned in the middle of this thing that they kept it, kept the judging going, and I was just like, "What? They're doing Zoom judging, and they're little doing dis distanced in-person judging, and safely uh, judging every single entry that came into the West Region, and not only that, but also finaling them, uh, doing a mini best of show for the larger ones and and uh, the, the larger tables when needed, and all of that." And I was just astounded. And then so it came back around when. You know, we started feeling a little safer here, and it's still we're still not out of the woods, but <laughs> hopefully everybody stays safe and it keeps going. It starts going back down again. Um, we we were asked to uh, my buddy John and I were asked to final a big table of uh, uh, Belgians and with my friend Tom and, and with Herendu from Doze. Yeah, and uh, so we sat down socially distanced across outside. You know, a big huge table, and you know, sanitized the outside of the entries and just learned how to kind of judge it safely. And I felt I felt good about that, and uh, you know we we finaled the um, you know the, the mini best of show for that, and wow, like the quality of the entries, and they held up really great. Um, the quality of the entries was fantastic, and uh, you know I'm really proud of all you guys for uh, you know there wasn't a stinker in the bunch, you know even in the prelims. <laughs> so um, 
just uh, cheers to you guys and everyone who entered the competition and, and paid your money and shipped your entries in, hoping to get up on that stage. Here's a littler stage. This is unofficial, but um, these guys did a great job, and I, I trust these judges, and uh, I know they enlisted some quality help from other clubs as well, uh, from from BAM and and, and uh, others. But uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's a crazy time we're in, but hang in there, and we'll be back to judging uh, real competitions again soon that, that actually count. <laughs> and uh, yeah, take care, all of you. Be well. Cheers. Bye. This is a song about beer. I like beer so much I brew my own. And it goes a little something like this. I drank a beer. I wrote a song. And I knew it sure as hell wouldn't be long. But until I fell right. Drunk enough. How about swilling down a cool five gallon keg of some kick your own ass ale? <laughs> Hey there, everybody. It's Sean O'Sullivan, the brewmaster and co-founder of the 21st Amendment Brewery, and I'm excited to be announcing the winners of the fruit beer category for the 2020 National Homebrew Competition, San Francisco Region. Very exciting stuff here. I know it's a little bit different this year, but uh, I'm also excited to be doing the fruit beer category. I know a little bit about fruit beer. Maybe you've heard of these fruit beers we've done. We put watermelon in them. It's great. Anyway, let's get to the winners right now. All right, the winners of the 2020 Fruit Beer category for the National Homebrew Competition, San Francisco Region. Third place goes to Kyle Blomseth with his Strawberry Solera Saison. Congratulations. Second place goes to Ed Bruzius, Mad Zymergist, for his Berry Corny Blackberry Cream Ale. Congratulations with that one. And the first place winner. You ready for this one? is Damian Jones and Aiden Jones for Aiden's Grapes Italian Grape Ale. Great job, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the competition, and thanks for letting me be part of this. Cheers.
Hi there, this is Ron Silberstein, and I will be presenting the awards to the American Porter and Stout category. I didn't win any awards myself, but there's a reason I'm giving these awards, and it's because uh, I've been involved a little bit in beer. I uh, opened, I'm the founding brewmaster for San Francisco's oldest uh, brew pub. Uh, it's also its only certified organic brewery, at Thirsty Bear Brewing Company. Had that for 24 years, so I'm sort of a grandfather of, uh, of the beer, beer business. Uh, I also opened Admiral Maltings, and Admiral Maltings contracts local farmers to grow grains, primarily barley, but also oats, rye, wheat, and we malt that uh, so that you brewers and distillers can use it. We malt it here in Alameda and uh, make it available to home brewers and, and brewers and distillers throughout California. I am going to give three awards for second and third. I will read the names. I am not the best name pronouncer, so uh, I will win no awards for name pronunciation. But first place, ah, I'm going to start with third place. Third place goes to Michael Lenhers and his boxcar porter in the American Porter category. And second place goes to Bill Devoignier. I probably butchered that, uh, from Bridge Builder. Uh, not from Bridge Builder, but he made Bridge Builder, American Porter. Uh, we need more bridges built. There's no doubt about that. And drum roll, please. Oh, wait, we have to wait for the applause to die out for those first two. The winner for not only brewing the best porter, but also for having the easiest name to pronounce is Dan Sherman, somebody's godfather porter. Uh, pre-prohibition porter at that. So I thank you very much. I wish you all luck in brewing lots of great beers. Uh, all these beers behind me uh, were all brewed with Admiral Malt. Uh, nice little can collection. I'm, I'm, I'm being a kid all over again. All right. Enjoy. Happy brewing. Go Doze. Hey, everybody. I'm Eleanor Leger. I'm the founder of Eden Specialty Ciders up in northern Vermont, and I'm really excited to be here today to announce the winners of the Specialty Cider and Perry competition. So to get right to it, third place, Cider Maker, Lucas Ohio Patty of Diablo Order of Zymerical Enthusiasts, otherwise known as Doe's. The cider name is Sage Fest, and the category is New England Cider. I have to stop here and say that as a New England cider maker, I would never make a cider called New England cider style. Um, we make lots of different styles of cider in New England, um, but we wouldn't call that a New England cider, just, just so you know. Second place, cider maker, Lucas Ohio Patty from Diablo Order of Zymerical Enthusiasts. Cider name, The Grape Next Door, and the category is cider with other fruit. Congratulations, Lucas, you did a great job. And the first place goes to cider maker Oleg Spierko, co-maker Lawrence Swaggett. The club name is Quaff Quality Ale and Fermentation Fraternity. Got to add some sorority people in there, guys. Cider name, Very Passionate Cider. Another good reason to add some sorority people in there, guys. Um, category, Cider with Other Fruit. Congratulations, Oleg and Lawrence. Um, and uh, hope you guys all have a great celebration. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? Greetings from downtown Brentwood, California. My name's Vito, and I'm the brewer here at Imperial Beer Project. I'm also a longtime Doze member and former president. Today, I'm honored to be announcing the winners for the category Pale British Ale. Let's start with third place. Congrats to John Orcutt of the Bruins with his no non-ordinary ordinary bitter. Second place, we got Justin Clayton with the Ghanawana Sparkling Australian Sparkling Ale. And then first place, let's hear it for Stan Gardner with his house beer number three, British Gold Nail. Congrats to the winners. Cheers and stay safe, everyone. Hello, homebrewers. I'm Justin Crossley from the Brewing Network, and my friends over at Doe's invited me to come on here and introduce the winners of my favorite beer style, which is American Pale Ale. I mean, come on, it's the best style that there is. Always been my favorite. 
probably always will be. So without further ado, why don't we get to the win today? In third place, with his beer called 1056, John Duckett. Congratulations, John. In second place, and listing the Brewing Network as his club, my man, Stephen Mifsud. Congratulations, Stephen. Thanks for representing the BN. And in first place, from our host club, Doe's, with his beer called Extra Extra Drink All About It. Congratulations, first place, Jared Lieben. Congratulations to all of our winners today. And uh, thanks to Doe's for putting this on and judging all these beers. I think that's a class act. Uh, cheers out there. Stay healthy. Keep brewing and be safe. Hello everyone, I'm Mark Keller with Brew Hall Brewing in Benicia, California. I'm humbled to be announcing this year's NHC first round Dark European Lager category winners. Third place, Andrew Simsack with San Francisco Home Brewers Guild for his Falling Shape Munich Dunkel. In second place, Paul Brown with Doe's and his Darkness Imprisoning Me International Dark Lager. And in first place, Virgil Redman with his batch 309 Schwartz beer. Congratulations, everyone. You all deserve this. Don't ever stop brewing, and I look forward to trying these tasty treats here in the near future. Hey, everyone. Um, my name is Aaron Glass. I'm the homebrew market coordinator for Lollaman Brewing, and I want to thank you guys for allowing uh, Lollaman to be part of your sponsorship for what would have been homebrew con. However, you guys kept the spirit alive, and I'm glad you had a competition, and we're happy to participate. And I'm also very pleased to announce the Scottish and Irish Ale category winners uh, for the competition. So. Without further ado, drum roll please. <laughs> All right, we have, so in third place, we have Ed Brosnius with the Mad Zymergis for Obro Irish Ale, Irish Red Ale, excuse me. Congratulations, Ed, that's amazing. And for second place, in Scottish and Irish Ale category. Congratulations to Brian Whetstone and Patrick Machado for Salante Irish Red Ale. <laughs> and now, drum roll please. <laughs> for first place in Scottish and Irish Ale category, we have Justin Vincent with the Silicon Valley Sudsers for the well-blathered friend in the Irish Ale, uh, Irish Red Ale. So congratulations to all of you and uh, thank you again from Lollaman. We love our home brewers and uh, cheers to everyone. Yay. Hey everybody, Jay here from the Rare Barrel. I am honored and privileged to announce the winners of the American Wild Ale category. Let's get right to it. In third place for Saison Solera batch number two, Brett Beer, we have Brett Hyam and Robbie Proctor from Doe's, our local homebrew club. Congrats, guys. Second place. We have Michael Waldron, Better Never Than Late Mixed Fermentation Sour Beer. And for first place, we have Eric Ruzica. Ruzica? Who cares? You got the gold. The headquarters, Golden Rat Wild Specialty Beer. Congrats to all the entrants, to all the winners, to all those home brewers out there. Keep doing what you're doing. Home brewing has never been more important than right now, so... Congrats to everyone who's entered and uh, stay safe out there and stay sour.
Sergio from Melovino here with the winners from Table 33 Specialty Meads. Third place goes to, from Blue Ox Brewer Society, Josh Holbrick with a peculiar date, historical mead. Congratulations, Josh. Uh, in second place, we have Christoph Pliska from Doze with his Black Currant Boche experimental mead. And in first place, Christoph Pliska from Doze again uh, with his tart cherry buckwheat trojaniac uh, historical mead. How many medals does this guy win, by the way? Christoph, t- he takes them all. He takes them all. But anyway, congratulations to everybody. Uh, stay safe and healthy out there. And uh, cheers. Hey, folks. Kevin here from Ferment Drink Repeat, FDR Brewing Company in the Portland neighborhood of San Francisco. Just want to thank those for inviting us to be a part of this great awards ceremony. We're announcing Spice Beers. I'm holding our coffee stout, which would fit in this category. Well, let's get to the winners. Third place went to Chris Lee, Eastside Brewers with the Coconilla Jitter, a coconut, vanilla, and coffee porter. Second place went to Mark Dyson with the Espress Yourself, an oatmeal stout made with espresso and vanilla as well. And first place went to Brian Winkle with the Jackso Face Pumpkin Pie Ale. So congratulations to those winners. Just a reminder, we're open. We have outdoor seating. We're featuring pies from the Pie Guys, beautiful savory pies. We have a homebrew shop that's open. You can order online. Hit us up, fermentdrinkrepeat.com. You might even come and take away our bomb AF. That's right, our own spice beer. Coffee hazelnut porter that's in cans. You can take it home. Stay safe out there. Thanks for supporting homebrewing and the craft beer community. We love you. Congratulations again to all the winners. Cheers. Hi everyone, this is Vinny from Russian River Brewing Company. I'm here in our cool ship room to announce the winners, the European Sour Ale category. In third place, the winner is Mark Fogg for his beer, Rutherford Reprise, which is in the style of a fruit lambic. The second place winner is Kevin McMahon for his beer, Old Belgium, which is in the style of a goose. And the first place winner is Brett Hyam and Kyle Boussal from the Doze Homebrew Club for their beer, Eau du Framboise, which is in the style of a fruit lambic. Congratulations and cheers to the winners. Hey, nice to see everybody again. Justin here with Ghost Town. Uh, excited to be announcing the IPA winners. This is my personal favorite category of beers and favorite beer to drink because, in my opinion, it's one of the hardest to make and taste good. All right, let's start with third place. That Molly Quaff, brewed by Alex Hardy and Doug Brown. Congrats. Second place. IPA, Society of Barley Alchemists, brewed by Dick Solis. Richard, excuse me, Solis. And first place. Yeah. Vacation in a Bottle, The Brewery Network. Christopher Burgess. Congratulations, man. That is awesome. Hope all you guys have time to bring your IPA down for all of us to try here at the brewery because we love that shit. Congrats, dudes. Fair health. <laughs> all right, all right. I got one more for you. It's called Homegrown Tomatoes.
This is Lester over at Bear Bottle in San Francisco, uh, coming at you one more time. Um, you didn't see the first installment of the uh, the awards of the Czech Premium Pale Lager Pilsner category. Um, what I mentioned then was something that really inspired me about being able to continue to have an awards, continue to do the judging, continue to get people's beer judging sheets back to them. Uh, in the middle of a pandemic, like that is completely awesome. And it really inspired me and everybody here at Bear Bottle. So I thought like, what can we do to kind of take this one step further for all you people who I'm sure would have won a lot of awards on the national level for NHC. Uh, hopefully we can get you a little bit of a, of a consolation prize. Uh, so what I talked to Robbie about is here's my proposal. So for everybody who won their category, at this kind of NorCal region NHC that Doe's pulled off. Um, we're going to do an invite only kind of homebrew competition, pro-am homebrew competition, call it, uh, where we're throwing out two styles, uh, a very classic West Coast IPA to brew, um, and then a very kind of nuanced category style, which is uh, Italian Pilsner. So in those two categories, everybody who got first place in one of your categories, uh, we have a invite homebrew comp where I don't know if everybody has followed kind of what we've done at home or at Bear Bottle in the past is pairing with homebrewers, having homebrew competitions, and the winner of our homebrew comps, uh, we brew in our 20 barrel system. We're gonna brew a 40 barrel batch into our 40 barrel fermenters and they're gonna get canned and the recipes are on the label and the homebrewer's name and signature is on the label. Uh, John Warner's been a winner in the past, um, Brett Higgum. So we're offering that for the winners of the categories this year for the, the pandemic 2020 version of NHC NorCal Regionals. Uh, more details to come from Robbie but it's gonna be an invite only homebrew competition for the winners of each category uh, to compete in two beer styles that they choose, whether it's West Coast IPA or Italian Pilsner. And we're gonna submit your recipes and submit your beers to us. Uh, we're gonna do a quick best of show judging with Robbie and some of the Doe's guys. 
Uh, and then the winner of that mini best of show between the two categories, so one winner between the two, uh, we're going to invite the homebrewer to come brew with us on the big system and uh, get your name and your recipe on a can that's going to go into the wide world. So best of luck and congratulations again. Cheers. Hello again, everybody. Uh, thanks for staying with us. I uh, hope you enjoyed the ceremony, the awards. Not quite the same as getting up on stage, uh, but I hope some of our special guest announcers made up for that uh, in our virtual awards ceremony. Uh, I'm really stoked that the community at large, homebrew community, and uh, our industry friends as well, uh, all really kind of stepped up uh, and pulled this together in a very quick fashion to be able to put this on for everybody. Um, so thank you to all of those people. Cheers. And thank you to Lester. Um, that was super awesome and generous what you offered uh, to give everyone a chance to compete, to brew at Bear Bottle on their big system, have beer cans. I'm really excited to be a part of that. All your first place winners in all 35 categories will be reaching out to you shortly. Um, and we'll uh, put some information in about dates, etc. Uh, and how that's going to work, but I'm super stoked for all of you. There's there's nothing quite like being able to uh, take your homebrew recipe and uh, scale it up to a 20 barrel system. It's pretty exciting stuff. So thank you, Lester, for that. Um, and I'm really excited to introduce our next guest, who uh, is going to tell us uh, about the winner of our non Cassie award. As some of you may know, the NHC. Uh, puts on the Ninkasi Award every year. That's the home brewer with the most points uh, in the final round, so the most uh, places uh, that get the highest points. We thought this year, seeing as we don't really have a, a, an official NHC, that the non Cassi would be much more of an appropriate award that we could give out. Um, and what's also very exciting about that is a two-time Ninkasi winner, uh, Jamil Zanishev from Heretic, who you saw earlier in the ceremony, doing the Strong American Ales, has offered to take the winning brewer uh, and one of their beers that they've won with, and uh, they'll have the opportunity to brew that at Heretic Brewing with Jamil. Uh, and maybe he'll show you his, uh, his Ninkasi award, I don't know. But uh, that's going to be super fun. And uh, without further ado, I'd like you to hear from uh, Ken, who's going to tell you all about it. Hello, greetings. Ken Grossman here from Sierra Nevada Brewing Company up in Chico, California. I uh, just wanted to say how honored I am to be able to announce the winner of tonight's um, grand prize winner for the non Casi Award. This is a unusual year for all of us to be living through. Um, We've uh, struggled to try to get our lives back to normal. Um, I think uh, you know we're all working in really strange uh, environments right now, but it's great that we can come together and uh, figure out how to do a beer competition. Um, I've uh, got a long history in craft brewing. I actually started um, as a home brewer back in 1969, and this will be my 40th year as a commercial brewer. Um, we owe a lot to the home brewing community and all the innovation and uh, excellent beers that have been coming out of, uh, of many of the clubs and, and many of you very accomplished home brewers. I want to say a big round of thanks to all of you, the judges, uh, I think there are over 600 entries, the stewards, everybody who came together to make this happen. Um, I've got the, the great pleasure to announce that uh, Northern California Brewers, Josh Bass and Jeff Rorison, they won three first place ribbons with a check pills a New England double IPA, a Belgian triple, and they also play second in the strong Belgian category with a Belgian double. So cheers to you guys and all your uh, great brewing. I uh, wish I could be there to, to drink some beers with you guys tonight. And now back to Robbie. Take it away. Thanks, Ken. Uh, congrats, Josh and Jeff. You're going to have an awesome time uh, brewing with Jamil. Uh, more beers also throwing in uh, a bunch of malt and hops and some other prizes for you guys. So we'll be in touch uh, with all of that information shortly, but well done. Your beers were awesome. Congratulations. What a team. Uh, and thank you everyone for staying and, uh, watching this whole show. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I hope you've had as much beer as I've had, uh, ghost town, 
that way, there, up there, somewhere. Uh, thank you for uh, making great beer that's made my evening fun. Um, and uh, I hope to see you all around soon. Cheers. This is a song about beer. I like beer so much I brew my own. And it goes a little something like this. How about swilling down a cool five gallon keg of some kick your own ass ale? Get drunk, get drunk, get drunk, get drunk, get drunk, get drunk, get drunk.